Neonatal Conjunctivitis, Wikipedia Article Audio Neonatal Conjunctivitis, also known as Ophthalmia Neonatorum, is a form of conjunctivitis and a type of neonatal infection contracted by newborns during delivery. The baby's eyes are contaminated during passage through the birth canal from a mother infected with either Neisseria gonorrhoeae or Chlamydia trachomatis. Antibiotic ointment is typically applied to the newborn's eyes within one hour of birth as prevention against gonococcal ophthalmia. Most hospitals in the United States are required by state law to apply eye drops or ointment soon after birth to prevent the disease. If left untreated it can cause blindness. Signs and Symptoms Time of Onset Complications Cause Non-infectious Infectious Prevention Treatment Epidemiology Research Neonatal conjunctivitis by definition presence during the first month of life. It may be infectious or non-infectious. In infectious conjunctivitis, the organism is transmitted from the genital tract of an infected mother during birth or by infected hands. Chemical Causes, Right After Delivery Neisseria gonorrhoeae, Delivery of the Baby Until 5 Days Post Birth Chlamydia trachomatis, 5 Days Post Birth to 2 Weeks Untreated cases may develop corneal ulceration, which may perforate resulting in corneal opacification and staphyloma formation. Chemical irritants such as silver nitrate can cause chemical conjunctivitis, usually lasting 2-4 days. Thus, prophylaxis with a 1% silver nitrate solution is no longer in common use. In most countries neomycin and chloramphenicol eye drops are used instead. However, it is possible for newborns to suffer from neonatal conjunctivitis due to reactions with chemicals in these common eye drops. Additionally, a blocked tear duct may be another non-infectious cause of neonatal conjunctivitis. Many different bacteria and viruses can cause conjunctivitis in the neonate. The two most common causes are N. gonorrhea and chlamydia acquired from the birth canal during delivery. Ophthalmia neonatorum due to gonococci typically manifests in the first five days post-birth and is associated with marked bilateral purulent discharge and local inflammation. In contrast, Conjunctivitis secondary to infection with chlamydia produces conjunctivitis after day 3 post-birth but may occur up to two weeks after delivery. The discharge is usually more watery in nature and less inflamed. Babies infected with chlamydia may develop pneumonitis at a later stage. Infants with chlamydia pneumonitis should be treated with oral erythromycin for 10-14 days. Other agents causing ophthalmia neonatorum include herpes simplex virus, Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus hemolyticus, Streptococcus pneumoniae. Diagnosis is performed after taking swab from the infected conjunctiva. Antibiotic ointment is typically applied to the newborn's eyes within one hour of birth as prevention against gonococcal ophthalmia. This may be erythromycin, tetracycline, or silver nitrate. Prophylaxis needs antenatal, natal, and postnatal care. Systemic therapy. Newborns with gonococcal ophthalmia neonatorum should be treated for seven days with one of the following regimens ceftriaxone, cefotaxime, ciprofloxacin, crystalline benzyl penicillin. The disease incidence varies widely depending on the geographical location. 
The most extensive epidemiological survey on this subject has been carried out by Dharmasena ETAL who analyzed the number of neonates who developed neonatal conjunctivitis in England from 2000 to 2011. In addition to the incidence of this site-threatening infection they also investigated the time trends of the disease. According to them the incidence of neonatal conjunctivitis in England was 257 per 100,000 in 2011. An upcoming meta-analysis will seek to determine if any type of ophthalmia neonatorum prophylaxis reduces the incidence of conjunctivitis in neonates and to determine which ophthalmia neonatorum prophylaxis is most effective at reducing the incidence of conjunctivitis in neonates. Eight comparisons to be made in the review include Pain and tenderness in the eyeball, conjunctival discharge, purulent, mucoid or mucopurulent depending on the cause, conjunctiva shows hyperemia and chemosis. Eyelids are usually swollen, corneal involvement may occur in herpes simplex ophthalmia neonatorum. Antenatal measures include thorough care of mother and treatment of genital infections when suspected. Natal measures are of utmost importance as mostly infection occurs during childbirth. Deliveries should be conducted under hygienic conditions taking all aseptic measures. The newborn baby's closed lids should be thoroughly cleansed and dried, if it is determined that the cause is due to a blocked tear duct. A gentle palpation between the eye and the nasal cavity may be used to clear the tear duct. If the tear duct is not cleared by the time the newborn is one year old, surgery may be required. Postnatal measures include Other bacterial ophthalmia neonatorum should be treated by broad spectrum antibiotics drops and ointment for two weeks. Neonatal inclusion conjunctivitis caused by chlamydia trachomatis responds well to topical tetracycline 1% or erythromycin 0.5% eye ointment QID for 3 weeks. However systemic erythromycin should also be given since the presence of chlamydia agents in conjunctiva implies colonization of upper respiratory tract as well. Both parents should also be treated with systemic erythromycin. Herpes simplex conjunctivitis should be treated with intravenous acyclovir for a minimum of 14 days to prevent systemic infection.